Hi, I'm Heidi Joy Trethaway with the OpenStack Foundation, and today I get to talk to my friends and colleagues Shamile Tahir and Melvin Hilsman about the user survey. We've been living, eating, breathing this user survey for the last few months, and so I wanted to start out and talk to you about what you found um, in the user survey that's really exciting or positive for our community. Yeah, I think you know one of the things that definitely stuck out to me and I was really excited about was we, we've always tracked you know the amount of clouds in production and testing within the survey, but the survey actually had really good data on the depth of adoption as well. So it wasn't just that people are using OpenStack and it's you know four nodes in the corner somewhere. Mm -hmm. People that have adopted OpenStack are adopting it like you know 60, 80 percent of their workloads are running on OpenStack. And actually, the larger the company becomes, the higher that percentage becomes. Like the larger organizations are even 80 to 100 percent fully on OpenStack, which is really cool and showing that you know it's not. It is really a general purpose cloud mm -hmm. and not just something that people are using for a one-off use case in their environment. So true. Melvin, what did you find that was exciting or positive for you? What was exciting and positive for me was the project team's uh, participation, uh, the questions that were submitted by them, um, being able to directly talk to folks and for other folks to see it on a, on, a, on a bigger scale, for the conversations to not necessarily be so specific and small or secluded, but actually you know, presented and available to the masses. Um, and also beyond that, I thought that um, the data that we collected, the metrics, um, were very interesting in showing the shifts over uh, the, the last couple of years, um, you know, with the cloud opinion of OpenStack being dead, but the user survey proving and showing so much more uh, than what people assume OpenStack can do and, and should be doing. So it's going to be pretty interesting to dive into this. Yeah. You know, there's, a, there's definitely a lot of life that we're seeing. One of my favorite stats is the new one on cloud age, where we learned that um, the average age of a cloud is 1.68 years. There's so many more deployments being created in 2016 and 2017 that we ended up capturing 44% more deployments in this user survey than in ever before. And so that's really exciting. Well, let's talk about um, the user committee specifically. You are two first elected members to the user committee, soon to be joined by more elected members of the user committee in August during the next set of elections. So congratulations. Thank you. And um, maybe could you tell us a little bit about um, the vision of the user community and why this, why this, or the user committee, excuse me, and why the user survey is so important to your, to your work? Why don't you go ahead? Um, so, I mean, so the user committee, right, like our goal is to uh, bring the non-developer's opinion or concerns, right, to the, to the, the overall community as a whole. Um, and so I think the importance of the user survey is it allows us to scale, right? You don't want to depend on just a small group of people um, to, to be able to reach out to folks. But then what's also great about it is that we can begin to see if we should actually not just um, scale in terms of like what that provides, but the number of folks that we have because we may learn something that says, hey, we need a few more people to tackle this issue. So we could scale the user committee. We could um, go out and find specific people to help us you know, tackle a certain issue at a, at a larger degree. So um, that's what I think is why it's one, one reason why it's important for the user committee for this information because there's only a few of us right now. So we need some tools that will help us gather all this great data. And the user survey is a perfect, perfect tool for that, has been a perfect tool for that. Awesome. So, you know, one of the things that we saw in the user survey is we um, saw users expressing concerns over um, either user experience and manageability. And um, Shamal, can you tell us a little bit about how that ties into another project that you work on around the roadmap? Absolutely. And, and you know, it's, it's a really good signal, actually, for the community health, I think, overall. So in the survey, as you mentioned, you know, there were... Um, some of the concerns that were raised as far as like, you know, what could be better within the project and, and the technology is that, you know, we need better user experience as a focus. We need manageability and reduction in the complexity, in a sense, of, of the projects in, overall. And uh, we do another project in the product work group, which is a group I'm a, part, a participant in as well, that we actually talk to development teams and find out from them what are they planning to work on for the next three release cycles of OpenStack. And one of the questions we ask them is, hey, from a theme's perspective, whether it's scalability, resiliency, manageability, user experience, what are you working on? And across the board for the three releases, we see, when we combine that data, user experience and manageability are their top priority and focus areas, and which completely aligns with the findings from what users want from the user survey. That's fantastic. 
So we've talked about um, deep adoption. We've talked about more adoption in the user survey. Um, and now we get to talk about internationalization because there's an effort by the internationalization team within OpenStack to translate the user survey into a bunch of different languages so we can have more um, uh, well-rounded participation internationally. Um, in terms of your vision for what's coming up for the user survey, what, what else would you like to address or what, what would you like to see in the future? Do you want to go first or me? <laughs> to you. No, you can go first. Okay. Go ahead. So I think, you know, and we actually had a, so at this summit in Boston, uh, for the first time we're, ever, we're doing an event called the Forum as well, which is basically an area for users and developers to get together and discuss topics, you know, and one of the topics that we discussed actually yesterday was the user survey and how it can evolve going forward. And I think one of the key takeaways that I had from there in, the, in that session was when we do this data you know, survey, we get a lot of useful data. And some of it is you know, string oriented. So it's sentences and comments made by users, which again has fascinating insights. We don't have enough people to go through all of that within you know, a release cycle per se. But what you know, the concept was, can we take the team and assign things like, why don't you look at all the comments and put on your manageability hat yeah. and see what comments can we use to then provide a summary to the community of you know, tactical feedback versus general theme-based feedback. Mm -hmm. And so I think you know, that would be a really good thing for us to kind of work on in the next release is leverage the data more um, holistically. Mm -hmm. And you know, the report and survey is great, but also share those findings back internally in a more, much more enriched manner to where uh, the development community can hopefully get additional insights and guidance of what users are asking about. Great, Melvin, tell me. Spot on, totally Spot agree. On. Yeah, I, I, I love that answer. I, right. I'm totally in agreement with that. Well, thank you for continuing to lead the charge forward with the user committee as you produce the, the next survey and the next, and um, we really appreciate your insights, so. I, I would like to say before we wrap up that we have to also say a big thank you to you. Oh, I mean, you, it's my pleasure. you do so much behind the scenes and you know, helping get the data, analyze it, work with us, so thank you so much for your support as well. My pleasure, all right, thanks. <laughs>